point where the screen became actually an artificial, you know, note almost. <laughs> Now, this is the thing, you know, I don't want to explain too many things here right now. I don't want to explain. What's up, everyone? Welcome back to my channel, Powerful Reactions. And right now, we really have to welcome back a band that really changed the path of music for many people. And when I say many people, me included. I remember seeing them 2009 at Rock'em Ring. What a concert, what a mosh pit, what a memory. <laughs> Of course, I'm talking about the amazing band Bring Me The Horizon. Now, Bring Me The Horizon is on fire right now, definitely delivering and bringing to you The Horizon when it comes to musical endeavors. Featured on so many artists released, I mean, this year and last year, performing with Ed Sheeran. They've been everywhere. You know, Norwegian artists, American artists, European artists, you name it, Bring Me The Horizon were featured. And not just that, right now they're releasing so many singles. As a matter of fact, just 24 hours ago, they released a brand new song. We're going to review this today, Aim N. But before we start this, guys, let me just pull back and actually explain to you who this band really is. So Bring Me The Horizon is a metalcore, metal, symphonic metal. Well, maybe not symphonic metal, but other than that, they really almost tip their toes in every different aspect of metal or music in general. They are a band from Sheffield, United Kingdom, established 2004, so basically almost 20 years ago. So far, the band has released six records, and I'm not sure exactly if they're going to release another record this year or if they will leave it like it is right now, releasing single after single, because obviously it really is working out for them, not just musically, but everybody is just so excited. After being a band for two years, the band released their very first record in 2006, which was very, very deathcore-like, called Count Your Blessings. Many of you remember this record, I do as well. It was a very, very heavy record. But then the most significant record, in my opinion, in their career was the record that came out two years afterwards. Of course, we're talking about Suicide Season. That was, again, as I said earlier, the same tour I've seen them on one year later, 2009. That record, in my opinion, was... What a step. As a band, normally, or artist, it's very, very hard to progress that rapidly, that well. But the band definitely did that with the second record. Again, Suicide Season. Make sure to check it out. It's worth it. And that was also, in my opinion, the beginning of a different style for the band. And not just as a style per se, but as a style of a band being able to dip into different styles. That was definitely the birth of Bring Me The Horizon the way we know them today. They just released a brand new song called Aim and featuring Lil Uzi Vert and, of course, Daryl Palumbo. Well, what means, of course, I just see it. That's awesome. Off the band Glass Jaw. Let's do this, guys. Make sure to subscribe. Hit the bell button. Very important to do both. And I keep saying this, but it's the only way that you really are notified by YouTube once I upload a new video. Otherwise, sometimes it's just somehow, I don't know, it's getting lost. Lost. That was the other single they released. Hmm. You know the rules. Thank you, everyone. We are right now, I think, at 131,000 subscribers. Let's go for 150,000. If you like interviews, reviews, updates, then this is the place to be. And of course, also some nice live stream action and fun. Huh. So now it's time for music. Bring me the horizon. Amen. The official audio. Let's go. All right, then. And I think we're here. Here we go. I hope you have fun. <laughs> Right. All right, 53 seconds in and a lot has happened already. When they started out that way, I thought, oh, okay, cool. Maybe five or six seconds of heaviness. Well, I was completely wrong. The whole minute right now, almost the whole minute is pretty heavy and I love the distortion. That's a thing. You know, I loved, especially when it comes to the vocals, when Ollie Sykes distorts his vocals. It just sounds perfect. I mean, the best example is exactly the one song Kingslayer they did with, of course, the band Baby Metal at that point where the scream became actually an artificial, you know, note almost. <laughs> Yeah. 
very much reminded me of that at the beginning. I mean, not the style, but again, the technique. Let's continue. So far, very cool. Six, six, six. Your fanatics prey on me, hate on me patiently, waiting to watch me breathe. Get your head from out of my ass, got me feeling like a human centipede. Let me breathe, stay the fuck away from me. Nice, nice, very nice. So tell all your friends, this is the end of everything. Too late to very strong chorus, I love that. Very solid chorus, once more. This is the end of everything. Too late to repent. We'll pay the battle and death. We will sacrifice. We'll fight. Rejoice in the sorrow and sin. We'll next gen. Yeah, next gen. Wrong melody. What was that? What was that? Just let me Just let me breathe. Just let me suffer. I, I actually feel the anticipation right now. It's been a while with a song where I feel like this. Yeah. That is a perfect live performance song, for sure. I can see already, even just listening to the song once, you know, I don't even visualize a music video clip. I visualize right now the band performing live with the audience. That's always a very good sign. If you have it right away, without really forcing it, that means it's a crowd pleaser. And this song surely is. Oh my god. Yeah. Is the song is the song really over? No. Is it? It is. All right, my friends, that was a brand new track, Bring Me the Horizon, of course, with AIM, and a brand new track from the band featuring Lil Uzi Vert and Daryl Palumbo of Glass Jaw. Now, this is the thing, you know, I don't want to explain too many things here right now. I don't want to explain how it is because every everybody almost knows it at this point. You know, you grow up with a band, and this is right now just a general thing. You grow up with a band, you get to know a band, you get to like a band on a certain record, and all of a sudden, your brain saves the band that way. Later on, the band might create a different record, a different sound, and you will be like, uh, 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 what's happening? I want you to sound exactly the same the way you sounded when I was 15, 16. It happens on a daily basis, probably on a second basis, with many, many people, fans, and of course, with the bands themselves. So that's the moral of the story. You as an artist, you don't want to paint the same painting over and over and over again. Art is expressing your art thoughts, your feelings, you know, music, whatever it is. We talked about this many times. So you cannot always express the same things unless you are really stuck in the same situation forever, which is almost impossible. Having said that, people were so annoyed that, of course, Bring Me The Horizon changed their sound or, again, tipped their toes into different, you know, different fields of music, different layers, different sounds, different techniques, different vibes. Call it whatever you want, just different. That is, first of all, for a band, a very brave step because if you do this and you change, you might lose most of your, let's say, clientele, most of your fan base you might lose. On the other hand, you know, you need to listen to your heart, you need to listen to what you want to do artistic-wise, but also personal. So that's, of course, a step that is very, very important and very brave for every band to take. Nonetheless, once you do this, you will gather other fans or other people and they will be there and stay there because they want you to exactly do what you like to do because they see the sincerity. 
most of the time. Not always, but most of the time. And now comes the conclusion here. This song, definitely, and I know many people say this, oh, this song sounds like many records. No, this song definitely has almost every aspect, almost every element from the last 19 years of the band Bring Me The Horizon. For sure. Again, I know many people say this. If you ask bands, hey, you're going to release a new record. How is the record? Let us know about the record. Well, this record definitely is the best record we've released so far. You, yeah, okay. When I say this right now, I really mean this. This song had everything. Heaviness, melody, amazing chorus, sing-along, live performance value like none other. And of course, the structure of still being a solid and very, very... Uh, well, well-rounded song. That is the key. I think this will please many people. And if it doesn't please, you know, those die-hard fans from back in the day, so be it. Thanks for watching. Make sure to catch them. They're on tour. Make sure to see them live. I'm, I'm telling you, one of the best performers or one of the best performing bands ever. And the only thing you need to be careful is don't go into the circle pit. Definitely circle pit. That was one of the biggest circle pits I've been. 2009 Rock on Ring. Shout out to the band, shout out to you. Make sure to subscribe. Hit me up on Discord, on Patreon, wherever you want to be with me. I will be there responding to you. Thank you, everyone. Take care. Rock on. Bye bye.